game. Ah. I like quiz. I'm bad at quiz. <laughs> wow, it's diving There's right nothing. in. True or false? Adolf Frederick, the king of Sweden in 1771, ate himself death. Oh, I heard this story. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> True. Yes. <laughs> She got it first. Oh. It's a buzzer. It is a quiz, Jay. Okay, my bad. Ate himself? Sure, why not? He probably ate too much, like, duck liver. True! He died after having a meal of lobster, caviar, sauerkraut, cabbage soup, smoked herring, champagne, and 14 servings of his favorite dessert, Selma. 14? Yes, he went crazy that night. Why is that kind of goals, though? You knew it. So I gotta chew it. So, yeah, so you knew it. You press the button, you got it. So you gotta so knew it, so now you gotta chew it. Oh! Is that an octopus? <gasps> oh, easy peasy lemon squeezy, huh? We're doing a new to chew it with foods that kill. Oh. oh. <laughs> I see these and I run. I don't like that they're still alive. Yeah, she's just slurping them up. She yep. is a savage. <laughs> Oh, uh. Sanakji is a deadly Korean octopus dish due to choking hazards, especially for diners who are intoxicated. So they're fighters, they're like in your like throat. Yeah, if you try no. to swallow it whole, it'll be like, nope. As much as they wanted to serve you the authentic dish, I, I was told no. I appreciate you at least cooking it. Don't forget the salt. Mm -hmm. Sesame oil, salt. It's kind of big. I'm a fan. Wow. This is disgusting. And I like sushi and stuff, but this ain't sushi. Yum. I wouldn't eat it cut up. I, seeing it whole like that just makes me feel guilty inside. I like octopus. What do you mean? Oh my god. I usually eat it fried. Mm. <laughs> like suction, suctioning on my throat a little bit. Oh, you felt the suction? In, in my mouth, and I was like, what's happening? This thing's not alive. This is disgusting. Ooh! Aftertaste. All right, ready for round two? You gotta be quick with this buzzer. I'm not trying to chew any more of this. Alex Mitchell passed away after watching the episode Kung Fu Capers of this TV show from the goodies. <laughs> he died from laughter. How long did he laugh continuously before having a heart attack? 10 minutes. How long did he laugh? 15 minutes. Okay. No, 39 minutes. Seven minutes. You know what? I'm gonna go less. I'm gonna go 11 minutes. I'm saying two hours. Right. You've never laughed I like for an hour long? Closest to the answer is right. It was 25 minutes. <laughs> we both are 14 away. No way. Are We're you both 14. 14. You said 39 away. and I said 11. So I went. <laughs> Brady was closer. Neither uh, of you knew it. So I think you both get to chew it. Dude, we just, we screwed each other. <laughs> Dude. No, that's honestly the best way to go You out. die laughing? All right, let's see what's underneath the close to doom. I really didn't know that though. No! Oh, what, Carolina Reaper? That's we awesome. both have to do that? I hate Spice Nicole. Dude, we're on the same page with that. <laughs> I get red. The granddaddy of all the peppers. Granddaddy. The hottest pepper in the world. 1.642 million Scoville. That's units. one million too many. I love spice, that doesn't. Okay, great. I'm already like getting sweaty. This grim Carolina Reaper pepper is still one of the hottest peppers in the world. Nothing to laugh about here. I know you want to try it. Uh-uh. I know you want to. No, I, I don't. Tell. No, the lies. You want to be a homie and just like bite it for me? Like no, chew maybe. it for me? I knew it. I just, yeah. I'm not going to chew it. <laughs> really? Oh my God, it feels like a prune. I hate that. I wrong. didn't even know it. You just guessed so badly. <laughs> no, you got it. Nah, freak it. I'm a spice guy. All right. I had spiced it. Almost everything. <laughs> the smallest nibble pot. So did I, and it still is not helping. <laughs> oh, it's it's actually it's starting to come up in a way it's that's like, pretty stupid. Mm. <gasps> He's sweating. He's already sweating. Ooh. I cannot. I am so impressed by you. There's a good flavor in there, though. You're gonna say it's good? And I love spice. Actually, I'm taking this home and I'm putting in some chili. You are sweaty. <laughs> it happens it's kinda... so quickly. What y'all thought it was gonna be? Y'all like, come on now. Mm -hmm, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Where's the peanut butter? <laughs> Just lick some. Oh yeah, it's actually really nice. <laughs> That's so funny, I didn't know about that. Round three. Hans Stiegler from Austria was famous for two things. Having the world's longest beard for four feet and seven inches, and for dying due to his beard. How did he die? Well, 
Before you answer that question, speaking of symbolic foods, did you know that apples are a symbol of fertility and immortality. So if you need to come back to life after eating all of these deadly foods, I'm very excited to talk about today's episode sponsor, Incline Cider. Woo! Hazy. These bewitching brews are crafted from local fresh pressed apples in Washington state, the apple capital of the US, and the clean, balanced, and crisp flavor profile pairs perfectly with just about everything. Wow, that sounds crispy. <laughs> Yo, you stole me on that. I want yeah. that right now. Yeah, why do you only have one here? That's not fair. So check out their link in our description below and use People V Cider for 25% off your order. And if you do, be sure to order some of the Imperial Hazy Honey Crisp. It's my favorite. How did he die? Uh, yeah. He got caught on something. And he just I, I wanna say he strangled himself. He was walking downstairs and he tripped on the beard. I think he tripped on it. And we're in the past, so stairs are really hard and steep. Oh. oh. He like tripped on it or stepped on it and then like it caused him to fall and hurt himself, kill himself. That is correct. <laughs> Jay Whoa. knew it. I knew it. Woo. Noah, was... you were actually spot on. There was a fire in town and he forgot to roll up his beard. Did no. it catch on fire? So <laughs> as he was running away, he stepped on it, tripped, and stumbled down a flight of stairs and broke his neck. Wow! Oh my god. Bro, live in one story buildings, huh? I knew it! So you have to chew it! Oh my god. What, what? is that? And you're getting Aki. some Jamaica Aki? This sounds amazing. Jamaicans prepare one of the most poisonous fruits. Poisonous? Any closed pods or forced open pods are very poisonous. Oh, good. That looks poison. What was that? I feel like I might die. You could. That's what he's talking about. Matter from okay. inside the yellow flesh. Right. Head, because that's poison. That's a crazy looking fruit. Like, why chance it? Originally native to West Africa and Jamaica's national fruit, Aki, when improperly eaten, can cause Jamaican vomiting sickness, which can lead to coma or death. However, the risks come with a delicious reward as Aki with codfish is their national dish. It seems like a dish people love. It don't look good. What tastes like? Huh? Nuts. That's not how I expected that to taste. How do you know this is right? What if it's not right? I could die we'll find on the out. table. I was gonna say it's not bad, but then it kind of hits you. Yeah, but this is more like a... Uh... Whoa. It reminds me of the flavor <laughs> of a pea. Yeah, I could see like uh, peas. peas. That's not bad at Kinda all. Kind of like a peanut, right? It tastes like the motherland. Round four. In 1601, Danish nobleman Tycho Brahe died after attending a banquet in Prague. It was a very fancy affair, and he didn't want to be rude. So what didn't he do? He didn't pass gas. He didn't make a poo-poo. He held his pee-pee poo-poo too long. Wait, he didn't drink enough water. He didn't take a poop. Give me both of them. What do you mean go both of them? He didn't, he didn't go My pee. Love. He didn't go pee. He didn't go pee. He didn't want to be rude. Right. Um, so he didn't excuse himself to the bathroom. To there do you go! Dang it, that's what I was gonna say. He did! That's a great answer. He did not use the restroom, which led his bladder to literally burst. Back then, anything could really take you out. I didn't know it, so I gotta chew it, chew it. <laughs> chew it, knew it, chew it. I'm chewing it, I'm you, chewing it. You knew oh, it! I knew it, <laughs> you chew it. Is this a shot? Are Did you, you just get a shot? Gypsons, Malort. It's like drinking cooked rubber. A tire was boiled what? into a drink what? by your enemies. Shots are disgusting, but this sounds worse. That sounds awful. Yeah. I have actually been to a bar where a guy ordered Malort for like, Malort for the whole bar. And everyone just like, Let's go! Good old Malort, a liquor so bitter that even during the prohibition it wasn't banned because no one of sound mind or body would consume enough to get drunk. <laughs> oh my god. No, do like half the shot. I'll take the other half with you. Oh, that's a big shot. You want a friend? I would love a friend. You would love a friend? Please. All right. It wasn't that bad at all. Oh. oh! Oh! my God. Oh, it wasn't bad at first, then it gets worse. Oh! oh. Holy f What is that aftertaste? Yeah! 
I can taste the tire rubber. It's got a rubber thing like I just ate a tire. Before I drunk this, I didn't have a chest here. Now I do. Oh my God. Ooh. I still taste it. Get it out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Round five. What is this? Why is there a box? Is, is something alive in there? Goro Ito died after his pet, Aiko, whose name translates to little love, bit him. An autopsy showed that he had an allergic reaction to the pet saliva that brought about a fatal case of anaphylaxis. What kind of pet was Aiko? Oh, snake. <laughs> um, yeah, um, oh, please don't be right. Cat. I think it could have just been as simple as cat spit. Cat. Mouse. Tarantula. No. Lizard. A rat. Little love. Hamster. Yes! Oh, no! A hamster. Yes! Oh. Really? <laughs> I'm going... Hamster! Yes! It was over for him after a hamster bite? I knew it. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you gotta chew it! What? This! I literally thought about the bread from the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> it looks like the bread from, like, Outback Steakhouse. Satan this Lord! I made the most poisonous mushroom ever. What's up with all this poison, Nicole? It's the theme of the episode. It's the horn for me. <laughs> the, the single horn? Yeah. And nothing happens for 12 hours as the toxin quietly destroys the liver and kidneys. Accent has me drawn in. Oh, come on, Satan. I put fluffy fuzz. Wait, fuzzy fluff? Uh, at the bottom, as a warning, people are going to call it a Volvo. When Volvo. <laughs> a Volvo. All fun guy aren't fun, and to the weary forger, one wrong move can take you from a tasty delight to a deadly disaster. So eat mushrooms with care. Wait. Did you just give me like a warning? These are called death cap mushrooms. They're perhaps the deadliest of them all. With a white stem and cap, they look very similar to a... Uh, Straw mushrooms. When's the last time you ate a mushroom off a log? Never, I ate it off pizza. Hmm. I've never eaten a mushroom like this in my life. I mean, it's not bad at all, actually. I feel like I'm getting like... Oh, the aftertaste is crazy, though. They're better cooks. <laughs> what I'm saying is I, I had that hot pepper uh, with you. This has turned into like, not even knowing anything. We're just eating together at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, I would eat this all day. I'd risk it. Do not eat wild mushrooms unless you know exactly what you're doing. Honestly, I dip these in peanut butter and they're so good. Mushroom caps? <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie. Anything in peanut butter is great. Here's round six. In 1919, a large molasses storage tank burst in the North End neighborhood of Boston. Molasses? This molasses. resulted in a huge sticky wave rushing through the streets, which killed how many people? <laughs> 10. I think it got 82 people. Only 82. I'll say 100. 100. 20. <gasps> 21? Yes! <laughs> 21! Bro, oh, I swear to God, bro. Does that mean I'm closer, though? And I lost again. <laughs> Act out what's happening if you're getting hit by a tidal wave of molasses. Go nothing. You stick ah. where you're at. Oh. <laughs> you're probably not speaking in slow motion. <laughs> So I knew it. Yeah. So you're gonna have to sip up. Make cool. signals. That's either great or really bad. Not the grocery store almost unaliving me with these poisonous berries. But, not unaliving. <laughs> they are full of cyanide. Wow. That's wild. Not my lovely elderberries. Fresh elderberries are full of cyanide and you have to cook them down. Oh. oh. Like these are just sitting on the shelf. They sell this at the grocery store and you could kill yourself. The cyanide-inducing glycosides that reside in seeds, stems, leaves, and roots of elderberries is indeed quite toxic. But the berries and flowers are packed with antioxidants and vitamins that boost your immune system. So like right now, if I ate a handful of these, like I'd just poop my pants. I love it. Looks, it looks really I good. I like elderberry. Oh yeah. I burned my lips. <laughs> Whoa! Tea, tea grosses me out. Why? I picture it as like bath water. You're drinking bath water, which grosses me out. That's the weirdest way I've ever heard someone describe tea. Because <laughs> it's funny because I was looking at your mouth like, oh, I can't wait for her to try it. All I hear is, <laughs> oh, I stopped feeling the malort. <laughs> Man, I'm going to poop. Really? I'm going to poop after this. Uh, <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> Are these tiny elderberries right here? Uh-huh. I believe so. Oh. Don't. I can no. eat those. I can eat them. You said not too many. You just can't go crazy. Mm. I love the taste of death in the morning. Uh oh. I'm on a lot. Round seven. In 2012, 
Edward Archibald of West Palm Beach, Florida, died after a harrowing competitive eating challenge. The official cause of death was accidental choking on this pesky pest. What was the contest? Nice. Pest? <coughs> was he trying to eat ants? <coughs> Squirrel. <coughs> Spiders? <coughs> Florida. Florida. Gator. <coughs> it's gotta be a cockroach contest. Yeah. Yes! <coughs> Cockroaches? Yes! <coughs> Roach? Yes! Whoa! It was a cockroach contest. Ew. He was choking on anthropod body parts. No, I, I can't believe they're doing that out there. Y'all need to stop that. You have to eat cockroach. Oh, oh, that looks so oh, delicious. That was more than I do. Would you eat the deadliest fish in the world? Yes, the deadliest fish. Puffer fish. You're about to have some fugu. Oh, puffer fish. Yes, I do know this. I gotta try. Interesting. Cute. That's so pretty. Oh, those are beautiful. The way they're chewing it. What are the odds that something goes wrong when you sell this? The poison tetradoxin in fugu is said to be a thousand times stronger than potassium cyanide. Chefs in Japan and Korea must train for a minimum of three years before they're allowed to prepare the fish. This is actually escolar, which is another deadly fish. Just work. It looks a little spicy. But you might want that though. I know, I think I need it. Okay. I'm actually not scared to eat this. Here we go. I'm like, I might eat it just so I can stop tasting the Lord. It's actually really good. But I will it needs this it. sauce though. I couldn't eat it. Oh, 100%, the sauce. 100%. She was so right. Has to have the sauce. Well, that's, yup, yup. Oh, it's good. Yeah. A lot of protein, healthy. I mean, just might die. Are you eating this whole plate? She's going crazy. What about it? So, Escalar yeah. contain an indigestible wax, oh. which is a natural <laughs> laxative. <laughs> This whole episode, I'm about to be in the bathroom after yeah. this, you guys. Round eight. Because everybody apparently thinks about the Roman Empire. Oh my gosh. I never think about the Roman Empire. What food item did King Mithridates, the sixth of Pontus, successfully use against invading Roman army in what became known as one of the earliest documented cases for chemical warfare? Look, I'm just gonna say, well, they would do biological, like, catapult throwing, so it'd probably be pork. <laughs> Fine. Does it smell like mold? Chicken feet. <laughs> chicken feet? How I are don't... chicken feet killing people? <gasps> they could stab you, or like... Peaches. Cause bro, if I saw a jar of peaches on the side of the road, I'm what? slurping that up. Mead. What is mead made of? Honey. It is honey. Okay, great. Ooh. Honey. Oh. Honey. I didn't say honey. Oh yeah, growing up, my grandma used to force feed it into my mouth. Like, it's good for you, eat this honey. Yeah, I'm... I hate honey. Really? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna make me eat honey? I just told you I have PTSD <laughs> with that. Y'all trying to take me out my bed? <laughs> I went to Nepal. The honey is on the, the mountainside. I hate bees. I love bees. Imagine going on the side of a cliff to get honey. That is such a bright yellow. Yeah. Look how yellow that shit is. I took a lot and I couldn't walk for 24 hours. Woo! That's right, we've got some mad honey. What makes it mad? A hallucinogenic toxin that in large doses causes heart complications. They left jars of it out and all of the Roman soldiers ate it, like started uh -huh. tripping and they were very easy to kill. That's yeah. a good plan. You're like having the You're like, whoa, look at the sun. <laughs> oh, is that a target? Like, do I get freaky right now? I don't know what's your buddy. Are we doing it? Uh -huh. Are we doing it? <laughs> Mm. Mm, 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 yum, yum. I'm gonna have heart disease. I'm gonna poop. <laughs> I'm gonna just die. I'm already drunk. Oh, that was a huge piece. Mm. Mm. I actually am kind of scared. <laughs> it tastes really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Close your eyes, kids. Open your ears. No! <laughs> Keep them closed. Oh, he's gonna like that. Oh mm. my god. This is good honey, honey. Work. That's like. Liquid gold, what is that? How much is too much? <laughs> and then let me know. I think I like honey now. <laughs> I think you do oh like my. honey. I think I like honey We're now. We're dealing with trauma here right in real time. I love we it. Love. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of New Order Chew It. Be sure to let us know what you thought in the comments below. And again, special thanks to our episode sponsor, Incline Cider. Be sure to use our coupon code PEOPLEVFOOD at Incline Cider for 25% off your order at checkout. All right, cheers.